video, I am going to show you guys how I do my hair for work. So this little uh, twisty guy, it's not as difficult as it looks. Uh, and I hope I do it justice showing you how it's done. So if you want to know how I do it, then stay tuned, keep watching. So all you will need is a hairbrush, some hairspray, uh, two hair bubbles, Kirby grips, more than two, maybe like, maybe like five or six Kirby grips, and a donut and a net. So first thing I do is I brush it all back and I part my hair so my hair like naturally fall naturally naturally falls in the middle. So we don't want that. We want it to be over to the side. Um, if I was weirdly enough, if I was wearing my hair to the side, I was all I. Oh my God, what's wrong with me today? <sighs> okay. When I usually wear my hair to the side, I usually put it over this side, but for some reason I think when the hair is up, it looks nicer over this side. So first thing I do is just part it, just like so, quite over, quite far over, like that. Okay, second thing I do is I kind of back comb the top just so it's a bit easier for me to twist. Um, so I grab like just the front top section here and back comb it with the brush. You don't really need a backcombing brush first because you're not going to wild. I don't really like backcombing because it causes way too much damage. Okay, so that's it more fluffy and then I'll just spray that just to make it easier. We'll completely undo what we just did there and we'll just brush it. <laughs> it's just so that it, just so it's easier. Just so it's easier to play with. Now this is the, the actual twist bit. I really, really suck at doing hair, okay? But I find this easy-ish. So hopefully I make enough sense here. So I grab the very front piece like this, mm -hmm. like this. And then I grab a piece like beside it. Where am I? Yeah, like here. So like at the back here. So just two like so. Yeah, like that. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be twisting it all the way down the side of my head, but I'm gonna be adding bits of hair from this piece underneath. I'm gonna be adding bits of hair from here throughout the way. So I take the bit at the front and I put it over the bit at the back, okay? Now the bit at the back is at the front. So with both bits of hair, I grab other bits of hair from here. So I'll grab a bit from here, it doesn't matter where, and then for this front bit, I grab from the front, and then I just kind of, twist it over, twist it over, and then they're swapped over again. And then we do the same. We grab a bit from the front, we grab a bit from the back, and we twist it over. And we keep doing this all the way down. So this bit here, grab a bit from the front, grab a bit from the back, and shoop, swap them over. Grab a bit from the front, bit from the back, swap it over. I'm just kind of doing this because they get when they when you twist them they get a little bit tangled in themselves. Um, and I also keep saying the word bit, 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 bit. and swappy swap, and then just keep doing that. I hope that I, I like it. I can't do braids or anything like like French braids or anything, so this is my alternative for doing it against your head. So yeah, just grabbing bits and turning around like so. I've probably stopped like behind my ear actually, I don't wanna go too far. So then I just hold it against my head and get a curvy grip and then just grip that into place. You only need like one just now. Okay, can I see? That is that done. Now I don't like focus on it or anything just now cause I'm gonna pull it all up at the end and sort out this. Cause see like there's my little natural middle shed just coming into place, we'll fix. We'll fix you in a minute. <laughs> Okay, next side. Similar thing, um, just back home here a little bit. Ooh, all right, that. That's been all back combed and sprayed. I don't really do a twist at this side, I just kind of grab the hair and then turn it around. And then I'll grab like another bit from underneath. Like that. Yeah, does that, does that make sense? And then again, I just get a Kirby. Or you could even just pin that bit to the side. You, that bit's not as important. That's not the main twist. Okay, so now you have this cute little half up, half down 
bell from Beauty and the Beast kind of look going on here, which I actually really like and I do sometimes wear it out just like on a casual day. But we need to wear our hair up for work, so we're gonna just put in a donut. Oh yeah, the hard part is over. So now all we do is, I will show you, um, brush just a little bit down the middle at the back here. Grab your hair and stick it in a low ponytail. I like to put like, ah, what? my knee. Put it like here. Little ponytail. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, once your ponytail's in, your braids are actually held in. So you don't even need the two curl braids that you initially put in. So I usually just take them out. Um, oh, where did it go? Okay, you know what is in there somewhere? I don't need it, but you know if I do. What in the name has happened here? Okay, no, maybe I do need the Kirby. <laughs> Gotta Kirby that back into place. Whoa, what is going on? I said this was easy. I'm really not doing a great job. Okay, it's there. Okay, uh, then we get our donut. Nice and easy, this little guy. You can get these anywhere, really. You can get them in the supermarket. You can get them in... I don't know where you're from, so I don't know what your local um, places are to get. Beauty stores, hair stores. I don't know. You can get them. Easy peasy. If not, I'm sure there's um, ways where you can make them out of socks, but it's so much easier just to buy them, isn't it? Donut man. We have donut man. What we do is we put the ponytail through the donut. Yay, done. Get the hair and just swoop it all around so let me just turn around and show you so just yeah like that just put all the hair hair around hair around and we get hair bubble and just cover the whole thing like that i actually think i'm just gonna stay behind like i'm gonna stay backwards to show you. I'm just going to stay backwards to show you guys the rest of this because it's all from behind now. Yeah, just grab all the hair around the outside, like these little bits, and just bring it all down the bottom. I like to just give it a gentle brush and separate it into two pieces. Twist it. Like that. And then wrap it around the donut and curvy. Curvy grit underneath. Need two for that. So that's it now in a bun. And then you get your hair and head. Quite simple. Put it over the donut. And I usually just twist it at the bottom and stick curvy up there. I just realised I've been calling these things Kirby's. <laughs> That's what we call them in the UK. Um, but it's this here. So you guys might call it a bobby pin or a hair grip. But to me it is a Kirby. It is Kirby. Um, so yeah, that's the back done. All we need to do now is get our gorgeous little red scrunchie and slide it over. Ta-da! Okay, now for the front, I just like to ah oh, kick things again. Jeez, oh. I'm gonna be bruised after this video. I've recently moved around my room, so I'm not used to all the furniture being in different places. For the last bit, I just like to kind of move it around, so I'll like pull up bits of the hair, like pull it out a little bit to make it a bit higher. Kind of comb over it with my finger there. Pull these little guys out. And then I make the height kind of even on this side as well. There we go. There we go. And then last but not least, your trusty friend, Mr. Hairspray. Just all over. Keep that little. And we're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Um, and this is what it looks like with our pretty little hat on. You can't see the twist one and the hats on, but you know. Whatever. It's all, about, it's all about the big reveal, isn't it? All about the big reveal. So, there we go. Hat is on. Still looks nice and neat. I don't do this every day, by the way. Well, I do. I do, actually. <laughs> I do it most days. But the days where I'm, like, really tired or I'm in a rush, I will just grab my hair, thingy it back, and stick the donut in instead of doing the big twist. But, as you can see, it didn't take long at all. Like, did not take long. So, yeah, this is how it is done. 
hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to be doing an updated makeup tutorial as well because the one that I did was like over a year ago and um, I've kind of changed the way I do things a bit I don't put on so yeah thank you guys so much please do like and subscribe as well and I will see you guys next week for another video 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 another video Woo! Thank you!